Welcome back to another Pierre K. Avo text explication video with me, your host, Rabbi Drew. We are now on the 13th text in the fifth chapter, and as you will notice, it is stylistically fairly similar to the last few texts that we have encountered. Let's get into it. Arba, Midot, Benotne, Tzedakah. There are four types or characteristics of people who give tzedakah, who give charity, okay? What are these four? There's someone, the first of these four, is that they should give tzedakah, but nobody else. I know, that's, that's strange. I'm trying to think about that. Like, why would you want nobody else to give tzedakah? It's a curious thing. Uh, you know, it's... It, and it, What's shocking to me is that this is the way that this text starts. And we're going to get into it. I would imagine that the... You know what, I'll discuss these later, but the way that this text describes it is Eino Ra'ab Bishal Acherim. That they have, <clears throat> their, e their eye is evil to that which belongs to others. That <clears throat> for others' belongings, they have an evil eye on it. Well, we're going to get to that. Now the second one. Yit nu Acherim v'hu lo yitain. That this person wants others to give, but they themselves shouldn't give. Okay. Eino Ra'ab Bishal <laughs> this person has an evil eye towards that which is this own person's. Okay. Me give? I shouldn't give. Everybody else should give. Okay, that's not a good that's not a good look. Now, what's interesting is this description about an evil eye. Ain't no ra or a bad eye. It's kind of unclear exactly what this bad eye is, although we have encountered Ain Ra before in Pirkei Avot. If you remember back way back in the second chapter in Pirkei Avot, we did encounter this term of a, of a bad eye or an evil eye. It's not described there exactly what that is. Uh, although here, we do get a little bit more of a context, but you basically, almost like an opinion, like sort of an opinion that, you know, for the one who, that they should give, but no one else, that you have a bad opinion of others. And here, other people should give, but I shouldn't. That's a bad opinion of me. But I think also it's sort of a bad, I'm just going to say it. It's a bad look that you just, you have a, you don't, you're, you're not really, it's a bad look on your own self and it's a bad look on others that they shouldn't give. I mean, for the, certainly for the one who, that others should give, I think that's how some people think I should give tzedakah. No, everybody, that's for everybody else. I'm, I'm different. I shouldn't give. Okay. And that other people that, you know, I think that's understandable. We definitely encounter those people in our lives. We see those people. We, we know who they are. It's really fascinating. I, I, still, I still can't get my head around this person that they themselves want to give tzedakah, but that nobody else should give tzedakah. I, I'm thinking maybe this is a type of person who they want to have the... It's not just that... Maybe they just want the honor of having given that tzedakah. There's no other reason why they should not want anybody else to give tzedakah. That one is, I will admit, a bit baffling and vexing for me into that person. Okay, now we get into the third one, and this is very understandable. Yitain v'yitnu acherim. Or harotza yitain v'yitnu acherim. That one who desires that not only should this person give, but that everybody else should give also. Chasid, this person is pious. That's a good thing, right? This is a good person. That not only should they give, everybody else should give. Everybody should contribute to charity, to tzedakah. This is a good thing, that everybody should be contributing. Now we get to the fourth and final one. You can guess it. Lo yitain v'lo yitnu acherim. That neither shall this person give, nor should anybody else give. Russia, this person's wicked. In, considering in sort of the... Uh, that needs no explication, that nobody should give. Not this person, nobody else. That, that I think that's pretty pretty self-sufficient, pretty pretty understandable. It's shocking though. I mean, I have mentioned that there are four different types, and we've seen over the past, course of the past several a few texts that the when we talk about the number four, it's really understandable to consider in a two by two matrix, and that's certainly the case here. If we want to think about giving, not giving, this person and other people, we can figure out that two by two matrix and exactly how that would. Uh, work out, but the overarching clear value that comes out of this text is that people should give. 
people should give tzedakah. That is good. That is important, and it is of high value here. Give tzedakah. People should give tzedakah. <clears throat> That's the clear overarching value to take from this, and that people should give. Not only themselves, but other people as well. It's also, when we think about it, you know, this fourth and final one, okay, it's understandable that someone sh themselves shouldn't give, as we saw in the in the second of these four character types, that the, the second person says, other people should give, but I'm not going to give. Okay, so that's not a good thing. Uh, um, yeah, that's not a good thing, that other people, that other people should give, but this person shouldn't give. Now, ultimately, I think what comes out of it, what happens if nobody gives, right, for this Russia, for the wicked person who desires that nobody should give? I also think it's not just about the giving of the tzedakah, it's not just about giving of the charity, but also how that results in the society at large. Like, what happens to that community, that society, that for this person, this wicked person, who desires that nobody should give tzedakah, that nobody, that there should be no tzedakah available for use. That is a particularly wicked thing. That is a bad thing. That is a uh, undeniable bad thing. And it, it you almost wonder, like, who would want that? Who would want that there should be no tzedakah given or no tzedakah available even? That's, I think, the, the strange, the, the, not strange, it's just bad. That's wicked that there should be no tzedakah available. It's also interesting when I think about the person who, who wants to give but wants no one else to give, that they themselves should have a lot of kavod, a lot of honor, but it also... Not only that, but also it means that nobody else should be able to contribute to tzedakah and nobody should be financially able to contribute to the general welfare of the community. And that's a bad thing. It also means that there's less money available for tzedakah purposes. So interesting text when, it, when we talk about arba midot benot ne tzedakah. There are four characteristic types of those who give charity. So some things to consider when it comes to charity that not everybody thinks that there should be charity given, which is, uh, yeah, that's a hard one to swallow. All righty. In the meantime, though, the chassid that they should give, everybody else should give also. So when we have a society and a community of giving of tzedakah, it's a good world. All righty. Thank you so much for watching.